And welcome back everyone. Today we are reviewing the Julius Caesar Robusto. This is a super premium cigar from the J.C. Newman Company commemorating the 115th anniversary of J.C. Newman cigars. J.C. or Julius Caesar Newman. His likeness is seen right here on the cigar. This is four and three-fourths by 52. Uh, Ecuadorian uh, wrapper and all they say about the binder and filler is they are from Central America. So there is your density. Uh, nice looking reddish brown wrapper. Uh, looks nice and this is part of the Diamond Crown collection so uh, I'm expecting big things from it. I hope I get them. This um, uh, this cigar for a super premium is actually not priced that bad. This was picked up at a local shop for eleven fifty. So we'll see how it shapes up. The Julius Caesar Robusto. All right, let's prepare everything. Dicar cigar. Let's give a little gentle cut. Oh, effortless draw. Great draw. It's got a nice density too. Very nice draw. This will be about an hour, a little over uh, length of time to smoke this cigar. Here initially I'm getting a little light sweet cedar, oak notes, a little earth. And a little cream notes, a few cream notes with the cedar. Um, the cedar is very light but sweet, very light in, in, in texture and flavor. Um, it's very nice. Cigars. Pretty much mild to medium here at the very beginning. So we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, hope this really pans out well. It'd be nice to find a super premium at a, at a decent price. So let's see where we go from here. Oh, about a half inch in and the flavors have sort of changed a little bit. I'm getting a lot of nutmeg notes now. Uh, there are cedar notes but they are a lot of nutmeg notes too. Uh, there is now instead of so much earthy flavors, leather. Quite a bit of leather. Um, Pepper is probably between a five and a six. Uh, it's not not very peppery. It's just sort of a, an average amount. And the finish is it's a very light, uh, sweet cream. Um, it's a nice sweet cream. It's just light in flavor, and really uh, some pretty decent lingering pepper. Uh, the lingering pepper is equal to just about what you feel on the draw, which is odd, but still nice. I like lingering pepper. Um, not much else to say, but uh, uh, at this point, there was a pretty decent change, adding those large amount of nutmeg notes and then the leather. So uh, we'll see where we go from here, but uh, that was a nice change in my opinion. About a quarter inch further about an inch in now and you could add coffee notes there too um, the leather was sort of hiding them before the cigar is starting to develop not what I would call full-blown richness but the nutmeg and cedar are have a nice amount of sweetness to it and it's just starting to give a little hint of richness the cigar is very smooth and I would describe the pepper as a white pepper not a very strong black pepper, more along the lines of a white pepper. 
the finish really is nice. It's a it's a very long lasting cream now, and it has a nice sweetness to it. Uh, very much uh, just a straight up sweet cream, and like, like I said, some nice lingering pepper there too. So the cigar is going along nicely. It's uh, it's it, I would call it maybe medium bodied now, and uh, we'll see where we go from here. But uh, it's burning very evenly, as you can see. No problems there. So let's see where we go from here. I say that a lot, but let's see what's next. Well, I'm really just past the midpoint. And the uh, cedar notes are still nice and sweet. The nutmeg has fallen off. The leather has really dropped off a little. But in this place are charred oak notes. Uh, the coffee notes are still there. The pepper, I would say, has really intensified to about a seven. And the finish is about the same. So that's where we are. Uh, I've had to remove the band, as you can see. The band was rather large for this cigar, so it didn't take long to get there. Um, Cigar is still medium bodied, showing signs of possibly going medium to full. We'll see where we land. But uh, cigar continues to burn very evenly and uh, we're well on our way. Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. This has been a pretty good cigar. Um, I really enjoyed the cedar. It had a little richness to it. The nutmeg notes that we talked about in the midpoints are gone now, but they were nice when they were there. The leather notes were nice. The coffee notes were nice. The oak, charred oak notes were very nice. And the pepper intensified as it went. The cigar ended up just shy of me medium to full body, just right there. And the finish was nice throughout. That, sweet cream with a very long finish and uh, very nice lingering pepper. This is a uh, very good cigar. J.C. Newman is one of the better J.C. Newman cigars I've ever had and uh, uh, makes a very nice addition to the Diamond Crown collection. Uh, for a super premium as they call it, it's been a very enjoyable cigar. Um, not really anything negative to say about it. I if I had to nitpick, I would say a little more richness would have been nice, but it was a very smooth cigar. Uh, the flavors, the uh, points that I named were very much in balance. Uh, nothing really stood out over the others. They were very much all in balance. The flavors were very balanced. So all in all, very good cigar. I'm rating it a 91. I enjoyed it very much, and uh, these are available. They're out there. I found this one locally at my shop. So. Uh, there you have it, the uh, uh, Julius Caesar Robusto from J.C. Newman, 91.